Yo, what's up, everybody? Sergeant Seems here back with another video. Guys, this is gonna be 2K20 rebuilding video, and today we're gonna be doing the Orlando Magic. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna start. We did start today, similar to the end of the season. And I thought I'd show you guys. We actually were the seventh seed and did make the playoffs. So we're just gonna go see if we can uh, get out of the first round here. We're blowing up this team. We're gonna be building uh, around Markel Fultz. So we're gonna trade every player except for Markel Fultz in this fantasy rebuild today. So we're actually we were up two to one. On the Raptors, we're up three to two, three three game seven, and we get eliminated. But I'm happy we did push the Raptors to seven, especially considering we were up two to one. Um, you know, we could have had a little bit of a chance there. So. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, I do like some of these players on this team, like Jonathan Isaac. I think he's got. Uh, I know he's he's not to a slow start in his career, but I think he has good potential. Uh, of course, Fultz slow start, but I think they can get it going. Aaron Gordon, I, I don't know what to make of. Vucevic just got that big deal. Bronze front as MVP. Here's a quick look at the season stats for this year. Uh, Vucevic uh, led the way with 20 and 11, and then there's his per 36. There's Fournier with 18. Fultz uh, only five assists. Doesn't seem quite right. Uh, Isaac 13 points there. Bamba with 10. And they yeah they had like a ton of big men. So that's got Ken Burge and all that. So if we look at per 36 numbers here, they are Ross Gordon. What do you actually do normal wise? 15 points, eight boards, four assists, 32 from downtown. Yikes. Uh, here's Fultz, Augustine. Uh, and the rest of the crew. So, let's see. Our pick isn't going to be too good. I definitely do want to get like a close to a lottery pick. I don't want to go too high. Um, I don't want to, you know, trade all my assets away. Let's see what we have. Knicks have the number one odds. They dropped a four. Do we have our pick? We do it. Is it 16? So, I think I may stick there. I may move up just a couple spots. Let's get new trainers. Let's get Randy Martin for a year. And then let's go Steve Glisford. We got a clean house, man. And his defensive ratings are awful. So, let's get Michael Stauffer. Number one coach out here, and let's also get a new assistant. And let's go ahead and get Trent Peterson, and let's get a new assistant, uh, <laughs> Jaden Paul. Um, yeah, so we'll get our Masters, then we'll get uh, Logan Mills, and we should get. No, we don't. Okay, well, it's whatever. So uh, let's just go to the draft and see what we can do. So if we want to look at this team to blow it up, Vucevic, let's just look at trades for him first of all. Um, Levine, okay, we could free up some money there. Kevin Love, that doesn't really do anything. Marcus Smart, Dylan Brooks and Winslow, two 24 year olds, not a bad pair. Capella, get a few years younger there, it's about three years. Uh, Tyler Harrow, get a nice shooting guard. Uh, free up some money in that situation too. Mitchell Robinson, could <laughs> do the, the age old trade and all these fantasy rebuilds. Sabonis, we have to give our first though, I don't really want to do that. It's Blake Griffin, um, I mean, that only, the only reason why we do that is. Actually, yeah, there wouldn't really be a reason. So, Aldridge, Rubio, Adams. Um, I'm looking, you know, I'm going to look to... Ooh, D'Lo. Hmm, we can move D'Lo to the two. I like that idea. Nerf training Nikola Vucevic and Ken Burch for Steven Adams and a first-round pick. While they do not value Vucevic a whole lot, they're three stars. Um, but, yeah, we're going to pick up Steven Adams. We'll probably re-sign him in the, in the future. So, I actually am thinking about doing a Orlando Magic My League. Oh, pick five? Okay, um, big six and layman getting some um, interesting offers here. So I'm thinking about doing, uh, yeah, like I said, a my league for this team. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on that. Um, so Robinson, pick 28. We just got our center, so we don't need to do that. Harrow, I mean, one of these days I'll trade for him, I guess. But since it is Jonathan Isaac, I do want to get some good value for him. And pick six, can I just do him for pick six? Um, I'll give you like somebody else that I don't really need, like Aminu. That's kind of a lot though. Can I get like a? Can I get 15 too? I'll actually give you this pick, and I'll give you 16. No, I don't want to give you 16. I'll give you future seconds. They want a first. Like they want layman. How about I give you something else? So I can give you James Ennis. No, like a Frazier. No. Take uh, not Mobamba. I'm gonna trade him in a minute. They don't want to do that. What about if I do two seconds? They might do this if I give him another second. No. Okay. Uh, try future 2024 first. No, they want a second. They'll give me Layman. All right, fine. So we're gonna agree to that. Got got a couple more picks here. So let's look at trades for Aaron Gordon. 
see if we could free him with Tobias Harris. I don't get him very often. We can bring him back here. Uh, they wanted the 15th pick. I'm not doing that. Uh, bring him back to Orlando. Capello. Tyler Harrow. Three star for three star. That's not a terrible idea. Um, I might actually just end up doing that. Yeah. I can't, ooh, Dennis Schroeder off the bench. Mmm, that's kind of nice. Schroeder off the bench. I don't know if I want to pay him 15 mil, though. Um, I mean, he's definitely worth it, but... I kind of want to get, like, a young player here, so I think I'm actually going to try to get Tyler Harrow, but I want to squeeze a pick on him. Can I get a 24th pick? No, they want my pick? No, I'm not doing that. Can I get a second? They, they really don't want to do it. Okay, so... We're going to end up trading him for Tyler Harrow. That, that may be a little bit of a lopsided trade. Um, I was, can I move Harrow to, like... Let me move Ross to small forward. And then let me move... He does go up a little bit, so I may play him with the small forward spot. So we do got to trade some of these other guys. So we can go ahead and trade Ross. And let's see. We give Josh Richardson. That's pretty much, uh, like, a pretty similar type player. So I... If I don't, ooh, OG and Obi, I do not get him very often. I would like that. Only one year left on his deal, though. He's probably going to want to get paid, so that's the one reason why I probably wouldn't do that deal. Otherwise, there's actually two picks, but uh, like a player in this situation. So I'm thinking about doing this deal. Okay. Three seconds in Terrence Ross or Josh Richardson, so that got the deal done. Um, let's go ahead and check out trades for Mobamba. Um, it's a Robinson. We got Blake Griffin right here. Julius Randle and Mr. Robinson. So, actually, that's what that trade is. I don't know if I want to trade him just yet, then. There's not a lot of good, lot of good deals. Let's go trade. Uh, there's only 2021 first round picks. Doesn't appear like that. So, we're going to go ahead and get a pick from the Heat. And then let's go look at our team. So, let's go to draft here. And see what we can get with pick 6, 15, and 16. James Wiseman would take him, but uh, Lamelo is still out here. I think we got We might have to go Lamelo here. Um, Obi Toppin though too is really good. Uh, 26 per game. I kind of want to go Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin and Lamelo. Who do we go with here? I'm gonna go Obi Toppin. We're gonna mix it up. I think we do need a little bit of power forward, so. Uh, we'll go with him. Lamelo is still. Oh my. Yeah, we'll take Lamelo ball right there. <laughs> Fell to 16. Let's see what we got here at uh, whatever pick this is. I'm gonna go Kung. Uh, ah. I'm not, oh, Kungu, I'm just gonna say because I can't see no pronounced names today. But let's go Devin Vassal, maybe? I have not gotten him before. Precious Acho is pretty decent. Vernon Carey's good. But I have not gotten Kevin Vassal, so we're gonna go ahead and get him. 16th pick. Edwards goes one. Naismith. Wow. All these players went before some of the top. Wiseman fell the Wow. You rarely see that in these sims. So 74 is Devin Vassal. And we got Obi Top and Lamella is 79. So team player options. Michael Frazier. We still have to play or sign and trade Fournier maybe. Um, I may go for DeRozan. I think I'm actually going to try to go get DeRozan because there was a rumor of him coming here in trades. Uh, we might as well just try to sign him in free agency. We could also try to sign AD and trade him. I don't know if that would work, but we'll give it a shot. Let's try, let's see if we can get the Rosen here. And uh, we'll go 3 plus 1. I know the Rosen is, you know, not exactly the highest level player. And uh, we do have bird rights. Ooh, okay, I guess we're going to have to pay Fournier. Anybody else we have bird rights on that needs to be paid? Doesn't look like it, so. We do get Fournier. Everybody else accepted other offers, unfortunately. We'll just read on the rights on these guys. So, AD back to the Lakers, Rosen to the Spurs. Hmm. Somehow, the Thunder. I am robbing the Thunder right now. They want to give me Shy Gillis Alexander from Obama and Melvin Frazier. Yes. Please. Holy cow. That has to be one of the most one side trades. I don't know. I mean, Obama's got potential, but Shay, Shy, whatever. He's. He's really good already. So, um, if you look at the team, I think we're looking pretty good. We definitely need some depth. But if we move like Lamelo to Richardson to the three, maybe no, he stays the same. So we'll keep him at the two. Vassal does go up at the three, so we might just need to try to sound like a power forward or something and roll with this team and let it develop. That might be what we want to do. We can also try to like a sign trade with Montrose Harrell or something like that. So I could probably try to do that. We do have a little bit of cap space. 
Um, actually, we have to sign Fournier, and then we can trade him. Uh, Harold back to Clippers. Apparently, I can't get anybody. Millsap. Van Fleet might have good trade value. Bring Dwight Howard back to... Yes, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. For 20 mil, it's, it's a lot, but we're going to bring him back here to Orlando. We should be able to get both. We do. We have to give up the rights on everybody else. That's fine. Okay, I'll just keep the rights on Michael Carter-Williams. And we can get him back for about 8 mil a season. Then we'll probably trade him away after we do get him. Maybe. No. He's just signed with the Denver Nuggets. Okay. So, there goes that idea. Um, do we have a mid-level exception, though? We do. We can get, like, Trey Burke, Deion Waiters. Uh, maybe two years. Maybe I'll try... Alright, so we went ahead and uh, pulled off this trade right here. We did Fournier, Michael Beasley, Waiters, and our first round pick next year for Sabonis and a 2024 Pacers first round pick. So we have a very solid 10-man rotation. So at training camps, we're going to go ahead and send uh, Markel Fultz, of course. And then we'll also send uh, maybe some of our young players. We'll send Tyler Harrow. And then we'll also send for our third and final camp. Sabonis, I'm thinking, or SGA. We'll go, because Sabonis is older, we'll send him, and then we'll send SGA next year. Here's a rotation for this first season. Mark Falls 34, SGA 31, Harrow 29, Sabonis 30, Steven 27, uh, Lamella with 24, Jay Rich with 22, Dwight with 17, Obi Toppin with 16, and Vassal with 10. We look at this proficiency. Yeah, it's it's not looking so good. I'm going to pick the um, one that fits false the best, and that's 7 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and run that. Doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't fit our bigs. But, yeah, we're going to run that. And then let's go ahead and check out what our power rankings are. We are actually 7th. So let's see how the season goes. Luka Doncic wins MVP. We finish with a 52 and 30 record. So not too bad uh, with this young team. The Marcus Cousins, 6th man of the year. Uh, it's kind of a little mellow when get it, but that's all right. Kawhi Leonard, way of the year most improved. Is Zubak never really see that and Brett Brown coach of the year 60 and 22 so about eight games ahead of us there here on the all NBA team let's see if we get anybody uh, it doesn't look like we do let's see what Westbrook put up always got to check out on Westbrook did shoot 31 from, 31 from downtown and we didn't get anybody anywhere in the rookie teams um we did get Lamella Ball so no uh Obi Toppin but we did get Lamella of course Lamella did get more minutes actually so uh we are the three seed Taking on Toronto again, so we get a little bit of a revenge matchup here uh, from last year. So player stats for the year, SGA led the way. Um, Markel Fultz was my number one scoring option, but, I mean, he made a pretty good jump nonetheless. Three-point percentage is not quite there yet. That's okay. I think I think he's a little better shooter in real life than um, the game quite equates him to. But anyway, so bonus, oof. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're just going to leave it there. Tyler Harrow, good season from him. 30 from downtown. Efficiency, uh, still not quite where it should be. Uh, Lamella Ball, not a bad year from him. Part 36 numbers are good. So, uh, Obi Toppin with 11 and 4 while shooting 53 from the field and 45 from downtown. How many did he take? Uh, 77. So, he made 77 anyways. That's pretty good. Josh Richardson, good year off the bench. Um, with uh, 47 here and 38. We take a look at Steven Adams with 9 points, 10 boards, 2 assists, and 57 from the field. Dwight Howard back in Orlando, 8 points and 7 boards with a block per game. Per 36 numbers of 16 and 14 and 1.5. And Doesn't quite compare to, you know, when he was... He played in Houston for 3 years. Well, I didn't realize that. Um, he was for quite a while, but doesn't quite compare to his last season in... Um, Orlando, but uh, Devin Vassell didn't get a whole lot of minutes, but he did uh, score three points a game, and the efficiency was atrocious, so let's simulate the playoffs here, see how they go. 1-0, 2-0, and like we go for a sweep in this first round. 3-1. We got it. some gentlemen sweep there. Let's go take on the Boston Celtics who swept the Wizards. We're going to be doing them soon. I think that might be, a, might be the next video we're supposed to do. We're down 2-1 two to one here. 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two, three, two, three, three. Game 7. We advance. Very clutch there from this Orlando Magic team. We're taking on the number one seeded Sixers, and they sweep us. So we got a little bit of work to do for uh, possibly the final season. We'll see. If we win it, we'll, it'll probably be our final season. There's the Warriors. 
come roaring back with Curry averaging 38 per game. Let's check out what happened here. Embiid, Simmons, Devontae, Graham, Tobias, Favors. That's a good team. Ain't a home for that. That's a very good team. So they made some moves. Their team's looking good. we got to be able to beat them. So they had a team to beat. SGA uh, fell off a little bit here in the playoffs. Efficiency wasn't there, nor was the three-point percentage. It was close, but Sabonis played a little bit better uh, in the playoffs than the regular season. Then Tyler Harrow, Lamelo, Adams and the white into a whole lot so we may be looking to move Dwight Howard and possibly some of these younger guys we'll see I may even move Sabonis I don't know it's lately when I've been getting Sabonis his it's like his numbers just aren't there so let's go to the draft lottery I don't know if we have any picks uh, we did trade our pick we have the fifth pick via OKC let's go uh, Thunder have um, the number two pick via Miami so the heat really fell off we have the fifth pick so we're happy about that we have anything else Alright, no. So, we are good to go here. Staff signing. Let's go get a new trainer. Um, let's go ahead and grab Sean Navarro. Yeah, we should get him. We do. Uh, let's go straight to the draft. And see what we can find here uh, with the fifth pick. So, if I wanted to move, say, Lamello in the fifth pick, what could I get? Levine and Canner, Capella, Jay McDaniels, Buddy Heald, Jamal Murray, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> yo, yo, I, I kind of want to get my boy. They give me Devin Booker? Oh, I trade for him so much, though, man. And I get the seventh pick? That's kind of a steal. If we get Rocco, and we get some older players here, so it doesn't quite fit, but that's a win now move. That is a win now move to get Russell Westbrook. But I like this idea of Devin Booker, man. I get him so much, but we get the pick uh, right after. So if we look at like the team, like what are we thinking about doing here? Like point guard, we're okay. We could sign a backup. Josh Richardson, he's fine. Our shooting guard position is fine. Um, like we can move Booker to the three and like trade Harrow or something. Vassal, I'm not quite sold on yet. Sabonis, I don't know what to do with him. I like if I look for trades for Sabonis or yeah, let's look at trades for Sabonis. Uh, Draymond, D'Angelo Russell, okay. Uh, Vucevic, wow, man, Devin Booker really is out there like that. So we could probably, what if I moved Sabonis and just a future pick next year for Miami, which would probably be a really good pick. We could get, okay, so if I did Sabonis in five, I'd probably get the same offers. Yeah, we get the exact same offers. So this might be the move. So bonus for Booker, I do lose out on a power forward. Obi Toppin can take over the starting role. Booker can slide to the three. Ah, <sighs> where'd I get Russ? What pick the Rockets have? Eight? Oh, I might do that. Can I do could we do this for Sabonis? They want our pick, or not that pick. Actually, that's not a terrible trade. If I give them a second, and do I have anybody else I want to trade? Um, not particularly. I mean, I could give them Vassal, but that's kind of giving a lot. What other pick do they have? Pick seven in the second round. Let's try this trade again. They want Miami's pick next year. Can I give you mine? How about we try that? They want our pick. And they, um, that's kind of a lot, but we do get Robert Covington. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna get Russell Westbrook. That actually makes no sense at all because we have marked out faults, but. Um, <laughs> that actually makes no sense, but I can't pass on Westbrook, so let's figure out what we want to do here. So, we'll pick eight. Uh, I think we're gonna take, hmm, Scotty Barnes. We're gonna go Greg Bound the third, and then we do have another pick. I think it's that's a second round pick, apparently. And we'll just take Best of Alba, Romeo Weems, top out of here. Rookie signing, it's actually 72, that's pretty good, so. Team player options. Dwight Howard, we're going to accept. I will probably trade that away. Uh, I don't really see the need in keeping him around. Mark FL2, you have to pay. And it's a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. So uh, let's go into the free agency period moratorium. Giannis, Kawhi, Tatum. Hmm. We did pay Steven, so Richardson, we got to pay all of our guys. So let's pay Steven, I guess, a max contract, apparently. And then let's give Mark Fultz a max. And let's give Josh Richardson a good deal. So we'll get all three of these guys back. We do get all of them. We also Yogi Ferrell. We can go ahead and re right to him. Um, so we're going to be quite far down in the dumps as far as cap situation. Of course, Fultz gets a 
one here, 392. So we have to match that, unfortunately. I mean, that's kind of good and bad. Because we have a little bit more cap space, but Rose is back out here. Giannis, where's he going to go? Bulls. Okay. Um, so, looking at the team, we do have Lamella Ball still. So, I, oh, come on, 2K. Alright, we just did a 3 for 1 swap. And we did Robert Covington, Dwight Howard, and Devin Vassell for Pascal Siakam. So, we look at the team right now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, what I'm possibly thinking is can I move. Um, any of these guys to the center without them going down a ton? Apparently not. So what I may do is try to trade, like, uh, Weems and maybe... So if I'm tapped potential, we're going to go ahead and send Markel Fultz once more. We will also send SGA, and then we will also send... Ooh, should we go Obi Toppin? We'll send Obi Top. So here's the rotation. We got Fultz 33, Westbrook 32, SGA 30, Siakam 30, Adams 26, Lamelo 24, Harrow 23, Jay Rich 18, Obi 15, and uh, Greg Brown the third with nine. If we look at the scoring options, we're gonna make sure it's on Fultz, and that his proficiency right now is three and a half seven seconds. That is our fits Fultz the best. Oh, actually, seven seconds fits Russ and Fultz. I think we're gonna run seven seconds again. We'll see how this goes in this next season. LeBron is your repeat kick on him as rookie of the year, but we'll six man of the year, AD defense player of the year, most improved, Devin. Brett Brown coach of the year. Kate. Yeah. <laughs> we go 55 and 27. Here are the all NBA teams. We did not get anybody on them, unfortunately. Uh, not even James Harden made it without uh, Russell Westbrook. So let's see, defensive Miles Turner. Shout out to him. And then Rudy Gobert. Uh, did we get anybody? Bobo's on the rookie team there. Jonathan Kaminga on the Thunder. And then, of course, we don't get anybody. So, let's go ahead and see. We are the second seed this year. So, uh, let's check out the team. We were doing pretty good for, uh, at least in the beginning of the season, when I was paying attention. So, Fultz led the way with 18. Uh, and 6. 43 from downtown. How many did he take? Okay, well, he didn't take a whole lot. But, uh... I didn't even realize last year only took 40, so uh, he, he, he takes a fair amount of realize. So actually, same same amount of points per game last year, but uh, Siakam, of course, did not score 29 per game. He's on a much better team. So 52 in the field, 38 from downtown with two assists, a steal, and five boards. SGA with 16, 5, 4, and 1 while shooting 49 from downtown. Or excuse me, 49 from the field, 40 from 3, 83 from the line. Westbrook. Uh, Eight, 8 assists, 6 boards, a steal, 50, 1 from the field, 28 from downtown. Uh, Tyler Harrow, 12 off the bench. Uh, actually, a lot better year than last year. Much more efficient. There we go. Much better numbers from him. It's a, uh, close to a 50 40 90 season. Lamelo with 12 and 7. 50, 44, and 75 for him. And then here's Stevo with 10 and 10 with uh, two, 2 blocks. No, 2 turnovers. Obi Toppin with 8. Richardson there, and then here's Greg Brown. Let's go look at the per 36 numbers. Tony Snell, the freaking goat. Uh, Lamelo actually was our best scorer. Then we got Obi Toppin here. We did shoot 36 from downtown. Ooh, big drop off from last year as far as efficiency. Siakam 19, Harrow 19, Westbrook 18. Josh Richardson, we only shot 45 from the field. Greg Brown, Adams, and let's simulate the entire playoffs. See if they go for taking on Brooklyn round number one. They are the seventh seed on the other side. Memphis is number one. LA is two. Philadelphia is that uh, big. Uh, rival we have to take down here is you know, I think they won coach of the year again, so 3-1, 4-1 we get the uh, gentleman sweep looks like we're gonna be taking on the Chicago Bulls uh, I think we did we do a trade with them? We might have 2-1 here and 3-1 hometown team for me gets defeated and we move on uh, As the Orlando Magic to take on the Boston Celtics who thankfully took down the Philadelphia 76ers We're 3-1 we get into the NBA Finals this year. We're taking on LeBron James 1-1 2-1 2-2, two, two. oh no, game 7, we got it. Shout out to Russ, finals MVP, 32 minutes per game, 16 points, 5 boards, 9 assists, 2 steals from the MVP, Russell 
Westbrook. So we take a look at the playoff stats here, see how this went. Markel Fultz, look at those numbers. Three-point percentage wasn't quite there, but <laughs> if we ignore that, Fultz doing really good. Siakam, Westbrook, SGA, Harrow with 13, Obi Toppin, 10 and 5, Adams 10, 10, and a block. Lamel with 9, Jay Rich with 7, uh, uh, Greg Brown the third with 6, 59 from the field. Richardson, 42 efficiency. Yikes. Lamella 45 there. SGA only 46. Siakam was only 48. So, yeah, Obi Toppin was our best score in the playoffs. Uh, did you 47 downtown? Got a big jump from the regular season. We got Greg Brown. Had a really good year. Uh, per 36 in the playoffs. 39th and uh, 3 there. And here's Tyler Hero with 20. Siakam with 19. SGA with 18. Ross with 17. Lamella with 16. Josh Harrison 13, Adams 12 and 13 with two assists. So hopefully you guys did enjoy Lamelo. 15 assists per 36. I did not see that. Westbrook had nine per 36. Uh, can we go back to normal stats and see what were his normal ones? Oh, not nah, eight assists. Okay. So uh, yeah. So I'm gonna end the video here, guys. We got the title. I'm happy where you know this team ended up. We got you know the ring. We 725. Not the greatest record, but we did. I uh, make a pretty solid team in building around Mark Hell Fault. So if y'all did enjoy, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.